Hey there, YouTube, Britton here. I'm going to show you how to make a modded Minecraft server for your own. So what you want to do is hit, uh, click on the, right click on the mouse and hit new folder. Hit enter and I name this modded Minecraft server because it's just, it's just simpler. So what you want to do is double click forge for Minecraft 1.6.4, double click that, hit open, wait for that to open, and you see it says install client, and if you don't have forge into your regular Minecraft, you just hit OK there, but I'm going to show you how to do it for the uh, server, so what you're going to do is hit the three dots, Click up here and hit your what your username. Mine's at that, but anyways, and then click desktop because that's where I made my folder. So what you want to do is then click this. Yeah. Click the one you just made. You hit choose, and then hit, hit to extract. Just hit OK. And what it'll do is it'll install this Minecraft 1.6.4 and all the libraries for it. And while we're waiting for that to download, we'll just sit here and wait for it. Oh, sorry for the noise in the background. That's just my brother. Oh, I also have the link for the uh, for the Forge installer in the description. Yep, so we're all just waiting for that. It shouldn't take that long, mine. It it should just like take two or three minutes. If you have good Wi Fi it should it should take like two for the max. Oh I'm also gonna be showing you how to install my uh Pixelmon three point zero point two, the new update that just came out this year. So Okay, there it goes. So when it's done, it should just say this. Anyways, so what you want to do is double click the Minecraft Forge Universal, this one right here. Double click that. And it should install the mods folder Forge and all that. It'll, it'll do this for a little bit and then it'll just start, it'll start installing some other stuff. So just, it's not done yet, so. But what we're going to focus on is that mods folder right there. That's what we're going to focus on. Yep, okay, so there's this. Yeah, but when it's when it's uh, starting to install, it should pop this right up right here, and it should just start inst uh, starting a Minecraft server version 1.6.4. And what it's doing right here is in uh, start it's installing a Minecraft map for you. Yep, there it's starting to install right there. It sh it will it should it'll go by really fast, but it's just taking a little bit. Mine just takes a little bit because I've done it so many times. You can also do this with the bucket server, but I just rather not do it because it's just more complicated. Yep. So when the once this done, we're just gonna once this is done, we're just gonna hit. Come on, load. Yeah, see, it should like just start skipping numbers and all that. That's just installing up a, a spawn area for you. So we're just gonna wait for this to start download. I mean,
It's almost done. Okay, so once it's done, it should just tell that you say that. And what you want to do is type stop. That's what you just want to type. And then hit enter. And it will save the world and shut the shut this thing down right here. See, it says stop in the server. Yep. It's going to just take a little bit here. Come on. No, oh, hold on. It froze on me. Oh yeah, the force quit it. Anyway, so yeah, it sh it shouldn't do this, but yeah. Anyway, so what you want to do? I'm I'm on the Mac, obviously. So what I'm gonna do is open up a text edit. I'm gonna hit format and make plain text. So I've already I'll post this in the description, but I've already done this for my other server. So what you want to type in is hold on. What you want to type in is this right here, and whatever you what, hold on. Uh, the uh, Minecraft Universal, you can you know, rename it. I would rename it to Server since it's just the easiest, and then this will be in the description for you guys. So come on, see. Okay, now hold on. Now, what you want to save it as? Okay, so save. Once you hit save, you want to install it. You want to put the folder that you just made here, that you just made, and I would drag it to like right here where all the uh, Minecraft, uh, where all the uh, desktop and all that is. Because it, it'll just make it easier for you. What you want to do is drop it right there. Oh, crap, hold on. Now, what you want to do is hit this the to where it, you want it to go. And install it to the modded, the Minecraft modded server you just did. Hold on. Okay, so what you want to uh, name it? You want to hit. You want to type in s start dot command, and then that, and then hit save, and then you just want to exit all that. Now, what you want to do is open up terminal. One second. Yeah, open up terminal. And what you want to type in is C H M O D space A plus X and then space. And what you just typed in from text edit, you want to drag it into here. And then you want to hit enter. Enter. And then just exit out of that. Now, when uh, click up this and click on the star command you just made, and it should do this. It should st inst start installing the server. So once it's done doing the little terminal thingy, this is oh by the way, this is also the same thing for Mac. So you can do this for Mac and Windows. It's just terminal is the same thing for the Windows that. The device they use. So once this is done installing everything, it should pop up the uh, server info thing it popped up before.
No, so it should pop up this. And it's gonna start. It's gonna start up the server. So what you uh, for your server on Mac, I would make it. I would make your server on your Mac your uh, uh, internet IP address. So I'm showing you this right now. So what you want to do is open up the uh, hit up oh, hit hit the Wi-Fi and hit up hit open network preferences and then hit advanced and then hit TC slash TCP slash IP and then the IPv4 address is what you wanna make your server uh, address so okay so I'm just gonna hit cancel there once it's done here we'll just start it up but yeah so to make to let to actually have your server online you would actually have to go into your your Minecraft modded server right there and you want to hit after this is done you want to hit server properties and your server IP which is whatever your uh, IP address was so mine's this but I'll just type this in after I'm done yep And then you want to hit save a version, and then you want to hit close. So once this is done, you can just hit stop. Well, actually, hold on. To prove that it actually does work, I'm going to open Minecraft. Come on, Minecraft, open. There we go. And now the like I said, the Forge, if you do not have a Forge client for 1.6.4, you want to just install the client instead of the server and then do this after you installed the client. So, yeah, let's just let it load here for a second. Oh, come on. Load. Yeah, it, like I said, it shouldn't take this long, but it's just because I'm recording. Okay, so you see it loaded right there. Now, you, what you want to do is the the Forge client you installed. You just want to click on the Forge, and you want to hit Play. It mine says ready to play, but yours should say ready to update if you just installed the client. So just want to hit Play. Let it download, it, and if you if it didn't, if you just installed the client, what you want to do is just wait for it to load. Come on, load. It should, like I said, it shouldn't take this long. It's just because I have so many applications open right now. Come on, load. There we go. Like I said, okay, it should open. But I think this one's gonna crash because I have mods in then here that aren't in here yet. So, yeah, I think mine is going to crash, like I said, because I have mods in here that I don't have in here yet. So, Come on, load. There we go. See, see, I have the uh, the smart moving mod in, but anyways.